Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you actually how to create um, web filters uh, where you can filter out certain materials, uh, porn, nudity, uh, adware, uh, certain types of adware, uh, just about any kind of filter you'd want on your internet. Uh, if you have kids at home this would definitely be ideal. Uh, you can either set it on a household uh, level or you can set it up for a per PC. Uh, so you can have one computer that has all the filters on it where they can't go anywhere. And you can have another computer in the house that can go anywhere at once. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is open Firefox or Internet Explorer, whatever browser it is you use. Go to OpenDNS.com. It's right here. It's O-P-E-N-D-N-S dot com. Uh, you have to create an account. Uh, it's totally free. Uh, they don't charge anything. So just click Create a Free Account. I'll make your username, password, fill out all the information. Once that's done, you click sign in. And uh, as you see, uh, once you uh, create your account and sign in, you click settings. Uh, I've already done it. This is my IP here. Right here, let's just delete it. Before you add a computer or your network, uh, this is my IP address uh, of uh, my house or my computer. Uh, so you want to click Add This Network. Uh, you can come up with a name, whatever you want. Uh, once you have it named, uh, you want to check this box. Yes, it is dynamic. Dynamic means that your IP address of your computer or your modem changes. Uh, if it was static, it would be the same IP address all the time, which most are not. Uh, so make sure, yes, it is dynamic is checked. Um, now once you check that, you have this little option here to download the DNS updater. So you want to check that or click that. Now what that will do is that will actually, every time your IP changes on your computer, it will update this website. So you never have to go back to it and keep changing your IP address. Uh, just save the file. Once it's saved, double click it. Uh, hit OK. If you have Internet Explorer, you won't get this dialog. Okay, click Run. And then go ahead and install. Okay, now once it's finished, you want to go ahead and start it. Make sure that's checked. Start Open DNS Updater and hit Finish. It's going to ask you for your username. Just go ahead and put that in. That's the username that you created on uh, OpenDNS. Click Sign In. And I select the network. Uh, the network I have is actually home. Uh, so you hit OK. Now this is this is all your information. It's your account name, your network type, your IP address, and are you using it? That's the important one. You want to make sure that says yes. Uh, last time it was updated. You know you can update it whenever you want. It actually runs down here by the clock. Uh, you'll see your new icon now. It looks like an O. Uh, so just close close that. Now once you have all that done, you can if you go back to your settings. Once you go back to the web page, uh, click the IP address that you want to change. These are all the filters. Uh, that you can have on a computer. Uh, if you notice, I have pornography, adware, park domains, sexuality, and phishing all checked, which means this computer can't go to uh, pornographic web pages, uh, can't go to um, uh, like fake web pages. Like if you go to, if you use Facebook, a lot of people will make a fake web page that looks exactly like Facebook. That's called phishing. Uh, so you know, just check what you want. You don't want to go to adult themes or auctions. Just make sure there's a little checkbox there, and uh, that will enable it to where you can't go there. Uh, so uh, that's a good way, you know, to put filters on your internet or one, like I said, one PC. Uh, if you want to do it on a one PC basis, uh, you can just install this uh, updater on that computer. Or what I do to, to make sure that it stays on that PC, you have to put the PC's IP address as static. So to do that, you click Start, and you go to Run. 
type CMD cat monkey dog and click a, uh, click OK then type IP C O N F I G now once you do that you're gonna get something that looks like this Ethernet adapter local area connection it's gonna tell you who you're using Huawei.com it's gonna give you the IP address of the computer you're on subnet mask subnet mask and the gateway you want to click start and go to control panel leave this open and then go to network connections you'll see local area connection and you want to click properties and what we're interested in here is I internet protocol TCP IP you want to click it and click properties now you want to click use the following IP address so the IP address that we're going to type in here is this IP right here which is IP address 192.168.1.100 type that in the subnet mask is here subnet mask 255.255.255.0 uh, the gateway it was right here 192.168.1.1 now the interesting part the DNS servers they're going to change if you go back to open DNS if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see these numbers the open DNS name servers are and then you'll see this number and these numbers those are very important numbers so if we move that over and if we go back to here in this first DNS box we're going to put this number or these numbers right here it's 208 67 222 and the second alternate DNS server we're going to put 208 67 220 220 and then hit OK and hit close now that's going to hard set or make your computer's IP and DNS servers static so they never change. Not your home internet, but your computer's IP address. This mainly only works if you're using a router. If you just have a modem at home and that's it, or just one PC, this step wasn't necessary. Uh, once you have this little thing down here, uh, you're pretty well set. Um, like I said, it, it's, it's a good free very very good actually uh, free internet filters or you know if you have kids or if you just don't want to go to certain places or if you want to help keep your computer clean uh, free of adware and spyware this uh, little option here it doesn't do the best job but it does help you know you, it won't let you go to certain places that open DNS knows will give you adware uh, it, it does do a pretty good job uh, if you ever want to get rid of the filters just sign in and just uncheck what you don't want or you can go to my account oh yeah I just changed my IP all right I'm sorry go to settings and you'll see your networks down here just put a checkbox in the one you don't want to use anymore and hit delete and that'll take the the filters off for you all right well I hope this helps you guys have any questions